Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Because the winters are so cold in Alaska, winter time is a time of year that I generally will travel to the Sonoran Desert and spend some of the winter months as a snowbird. I was down there before the pandemic began and then was almost stranded for a while because it was difficult to travel and even get back to Alaska. One of the problems I've encountered is that I left a stockpile of food which has been sitting for nearly two years because of the pandemic and it wasn't a stockpile that I could get back to and check on and rotate which generally food should be okay if it's stored in a cool, dark, dry place. The problem with the desert is it still gets hot. Even though it was indoors, it doesn't stay as cool as it should as, say, in Alaska. So, lo and behold, I came back to check on my prepper pantry that I have in the desert. Most of the foods should have been fine, lasting in a shelf-stable form because it was canned goods and dry goods and many of them I had put them into airtight containers but I ran out of containers before I ran out of time to store my food properly so I hoped for the best and when I came back I opened the cabinet and look at this what is this creepy junk all over the cabinet you can see it's surrounding boxes of macaroni and cheese that shouldn't have been a problem, but you can see something has definitely seeped and it just looks horrible and these foods are now contaminated. Some of them are stuck on the shelf. Even this box of bow tie shaped pasta, the bottom of the box has been contaminated. So I don't know for sure if it went into the box, so I'm going to pour them out and look and you can see the pasta in the bottom of the box has been contaminated. It's stuck to the box and you can see there are some bad looking spots on some of the other pasta that I've poured out into this dish so all of this has been ruined it needs to be thrown away I hate wasting food but there's no way to eat food once it's been contaminated I can also see on these boxes of macaroni and cheese that something has leaked and leached onto them the Easy Mac the first two are fine but the next one is actually stuck on the shelf so that one's going in the garbage also as are all of these boxes I hate wasting food it's so important that we store foods the best that we are able and sadly these were not stored to the very best capacity but I did the best I could at the time what do you know all the way behind these packaged goods you got to be kidding me it's leaking pineapple juice I have been the first one to say canned pineapple is a disaster waiting to happen in your long-term pantry and obviously I forgot it was here because it's pushed all the way into the back. I know I had some recipes that I was going to add a little bit of pineapple juice but obviously I didn't get around to using it and oh my gosh look at this it's leaking and it's still completely black it doesn't even look like anything that anyone would want to consume ever. Now I have this huge sticky mess that I have to clean up. I've got jars of food that luckily were in a jar, but now the juice has seeped all around them and they're stuck on the shelf. So I have to spend a long time trying to clean up this terrible mess because this pineapple juice leaked in my pantry. While I was inspecting the shelf above it, I thought these all look good. It's canned vegetables, there's some, a few fruits. And I can see something in the back is jiggling. I can't even believe it. There is a can of pineapple back there and it has also leaked and they got pushed in the back. I didn't even realize they were there. Trust me when I say if you have canned pineapple, do not stockpile it and do not let it go anywhere even near to its expiration date because it truly has been the bane of my existence. Pineapple is nearly the only food that has not lasted in my prepper pantry and it continues to be problematic. You can see I had one can of pineapple, one package of pineapple juice and both of them have been working their evil magic in my pantry. I had some little to-go cups of fruit that those don't look right anymore they're not the right color and so I'm going to pitch those also and look at this package of shelf stable uh, like parmesan or romano cheese 
and it isn't the right color at all. Sadly, there's a few cans of corn that are misshapen. You can see they don't sit flat on the shelf. They're beginning to bulge ever so slightly. And the crazy thing is they are still within the best by use by sell by date. Never take a chance with a can of food that is misshapen because you can practically guarantee that it has botulism, which indeed is fatal. It's not worth it. Whatever that can of food costs, pitch it out. Sometimes we do waste food. It's just part of life. And it is disappointing and we try not to do that, but it happens. Everybody has their glitches at times when food just gets wasted. It gets pushed aside. Things happen. And that's why it's important to keep trying to rotate your food. While it's important to have a prepper pantry and a nice big stockpile, it's nice also when you can spread things out in different locations, but that's when things get forgotten, pushed aside, and don't get rotated regularly. It's still worth it to me to have food in several locations because then no matter where I am, whatever the emergency, I know that I will have some food somewhere that I can still feed myself and my family. So take it from me. If you have any pineapple, go check it immediately. Use it up. Don't replace it unless you plan to use it right away. Pineapple has just been destructive in my food storage time and time again. This has been going on for so long I can't even believe that it happened again, but there it is. You don't want to have a prepper pantry mishap like this one. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.